one night in the books and one more night to go on a weekend racing feast. Certainly hope you're enjoying your Thanksgiving weekend. Hey, a good Saturday morning to you and welcome to Kokopo Speedway's Lap Time Live. Brought to you by Kokopo Casino and by One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating. Racing Radio here on Outlaw Country, AM 1400. I'm your host, Mike Stanhope, and thank you for joining us today on this special race day edition of Lap Time Live. Excitement to plenty as we get set for the second night of racing in the fourth annual Kokopo Speedway Turkey Classic. A huge field of cars, which we'll tell you more about in just a moment. Of course, all gunning for a Turkey Classic title in the IMCA Modifieds, the Pro Stocks, the Fisher Automotive Street Stocks, the Northern Sport Mods, and the Napa Auto Parts Factory Stocks. And last night's race action out at the Diamond in the Desert, well, off the charts. The track record for total cars absolutely smashed. The final official numbers in 112 cars signed into the pits for the first night of the Turkey Classic last night, shattering the old car count record of 73 to say the pits were packed is an understatement. 48 of those cars, IMCA modifieds. Lots and lots of pro stocks, street stocks, factory stocks, and northern sport mods as well. And on top of all of that, another 5 to 10 cars may be making their way in for action tonight. Well, the IMCA Modifieds last night featured a thrilling three-way duel involving three cars. Eventual race winner Jason Bolio from out of Campbell River, British Columbia. He driving the number 90 IMCA Modified, but he had work to do. As early race leader Jason Knoll in the number 44N looked to run away early, chasing him Tim Ward in the 4TW. And right behind them, Bolio driving the number 90. As we noted, Knoll looked to be running away early, but both Bolio and Ward, driving from out of row number six, steadily worked their way through heavy traffic. At the race's midpoint, the red flag flew after the L8 machine of Casa Grande's Brian Schultz got loose in turn number four after pulling a slide job underneath the 24 rests of Steve Simpson Jr. And as Schultz got loose, Simpson, well, he had no place to go. His car launching over the back of Schultz's car and barrel rolling to a stop in turn number four. Both drivers were okay and and word from the Kokopo Speedway pits this morning is that Simpson may have that machine ready to roll for action again tonight. Well, after the red, coming back under the green with the field rebunched, Bolio and Ward renewed their battle right behind No. Bolio working the cushion hard to launch a pass on Ward and then finally getting around Lowell on lap number 20 to drive off with the win. Ward wound up taking the second spot with Noel finishing third. In the pro stocks, Lonnie Foss driving the number 88 from out of Glendale got to the lead early and then fended off a mid-race charge by Lee Jensen in the number 72 to give Foss the pro stock feature win. Jensen coming out of row number five mounted a serious early charge getting to second on lap number five but well no answers for Foss who fended off every move by Jensen. A solid night of racing as well for Yuma's Brett Samala in the number one, he finished a strong third. In the Fisher Automotive Street Stocks, a wire-to-wire -wire win for the number 35 of Yuma's Adolfo Noriega, who was locked in from the start and led all 20 laps to take the feature. The race, not lacking for excitement, though, was wild action, rippled through the field behind Noriega. Alpine's Mike Harlan in the number seven, surviving to take a second-place finish with Chula Vista's Manny Baldivias overcoming a flat tire and a bent tie rod, along with a dive into the pits to come back for the third spot. Yuma's Dave Amos in the number six took the number four position with Yuma's Pat Stubbs in the number four rounding out your top five. Next up in the IMCA Northern Sport Mods, Hopeville's Chris Toth in the 57 CT drove off to the feature win, getting to the lead on lap 17 with a brilliant move on the AT of Yuma's Ty Rogers. A caution flag one lap later rebunched the field with Rogers diving into the pits but making it back on track in time for the restart. From there, Toth was able to fend off some late pressure from early race leader Cody Daffern in the number 18 who wound up taking the second spot. Yuma's Tim Reese in the number 38 wound up third. Yuma's Miles Morris in the number four position with Rogers in the 8T coming back to finish fifth. And finally, in the Napa Auto Parts factory stocks, the name Miles Morris pops up yet again. Morris, one of several drivers doing double duty last night. He got to the lead with five laps to go and brought it on home for the factory stock feature win. Alpine 
Williams' Patty Rebello in the number 34, driving a strong race last night, contending for that front spot several times with early race leader Craig Evers in the number 22, and then with Morris over the final five laps before finally settling for second. John Kremp in the number 54 took the third spot with the 35 of Wayne Rebello in fourth, and Brawley's Amy Teague in the number six, rounding out your top five. Uh, one more time, we say congratulations to last night's winners, and we look forward to even more exciting action tonight as the Turkey Classic is set for night number two tonight at the Diamond in the Desert. And on top of the title, on top of the enhanced prize money up for grabs in this year's Turkey Classic, points battles also being decided in the season-long Kokopa Speedway Racing Series along with the Kokopa Speedway Fall Series, and some positions are definitely shuffling. shuffling. As of last night, first we start in the IMCA Modifieds and a new season points leader as Brawley's Russell Allen is now on top by 13 points over the number 19 SB of Lance Maury. Imperial's Dwayne Rogers sits in the three position with Yuma's Johnny Swenson and Cody Grabby rounding out your top five. Insofar as the modified fall series is concerned, Imperial Steve McCullough still on top. McCullough not in the pits last night at Kokopa Speedway. He nevertheless remains on top in the fall series with a slim two-point advantage over the number seven of Yuma's Johnny Swenson. Swenson in a tie for that number two spot with Yuma's Keith Tabor. It's Russell Allen and Cody Grabby rounding out your top five in the modified fall series. In the Pro Stocks, the season track championship battle now looks like this. Mike Lurwell out of Lakeside in the K-9. Still your points leader, 18 points above the number one of Yuma's Brett Samala. Joe Haynes in the 17Z. Campos Ed Buston in the 18X. And San Diego Steve Jonas in the number 99 rounding out your top five. Fall series now for the Pro Stocks. And it is Samala on top in the fall series standings. Lurwell, eight points back of him. Yuma's David White in the number three position with Yuma's Joe Haynes sitting fourth and Jonas again from out of San Diego sitting in the five spot. Next in the Fisher Automotive Street Stocks, your top five for the season championship look like this. You've got a new leader, Alpine's Mike Harlan now on top of the standings in his number seven machine. Two points out front of Brawley's Stephen Daffern, driver of the number 81. Yuma's Adolfo Noriega sitting third in those standings with the 77 of Manny Baldivias from out of Chula Vista in fourth, and Captain Henry B in the number 87, rounding out your top five. Fall series for the street stocks. Harlan, also your leader. Daffern, 13 points back in the number two position. Baldivias in the third spot with Yuma's Joey Essery setting fourth, and Yuma's Pat Stubbs sitting in the five position. In the IMCA Northern Sport Mods, well, all over but the shouting as Ty Rogers, a virtual lock for the IMCA Northern Sport Mod Track Championship. James, James Dupree in the number 84 sits second in those standings with Brawley's Cody Daffern in the number three spot. Christoph from out of Holtville in the fourth position. You must Timmy Reese rounding out your top five. Fall series for the Northern Sport Mods. Rogers again on top for that, but still got some battling to do as you must Miles Morris just five points behind him in a two-way tie with Christoph for that number two spot. You must James Dupree and Brawley's Sean Callens rounding out your top five. And finally, in the Napa Auto Parts factory stocks, Miles Morris maintains a sizable lead, 37 points over the number four of Yuma's Rick Hibbert. It is Yuma's Jason Bashirs in the three spot with Alpine's Wayne Brabello in the four spot and Jordan White, uh, again from here in Yuma, rounding out your top five in the season track championship chase for the Napa Auto Parts factory stocks. And finally, for the factory stocks in the fall series, it is Morris, again your leader, just a one-point advantage over Alpine's Wayne Brabello. Greg Ebers in the number 22. He sits in the three position with Hibbard fourth and Yuma's Brian Johnson rounding out your top five. Uh, just about any of those competitors still in line for that fall series championship. And of course, it all plays out again tonight along with next Saturday night out at the Diamond in the Desert. Well, next year on Lap Time Live, we're going to get in a little bit closer on the action getting set to come up tonight out at the Diamond in the Desert here on Racing Radio. Kokopa Speedway's Lap Time Live, presented by Kokopa Casino and by One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating. Back with more in just a moment here on Outlaw Country, AM 1400. The Caballeros de Yuma present the 28th Annual Ken and Betty Borland Holiday Pageant and Friendship Tower Lighting, Saturday, November 30th at 6.30 p.m. at Desert Sun Stadium. There will be entertainment provided by choral and dance groups. Following the entertainment and tower lighting, a surprise visit from Santa Claus. 
Special guests will be Bruce and Debbie Gwynn, the 2012 Yuma County Citizens of the Year. Admission is one or more items of non-perishable food, which will be distributed to the needy by the Yuma Community Food Bank. Bring the family and friends to share in this annual holiday event. Seating is available. Need to order stickers? SignPro can produce custom stickers with your logo or business information. Give them to your customers or label your equipment for a great professional look. That's SignPro, 783-7776 or stop by 1702 South Arizona Avenue. SignPro, where they are perfect to the letter. News with Captain Banner, the SignPro sign, America comes to SignPro. The Yuma Hog Chapter presents the 25th Annual Toy Run, Saturday, December 14th. And you can sign up at Bobby's Territorial Harley-Davidson between 9 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. The escorted parade leaves Bobby's at 11.45. The cost? Just $25 per person. And it includes a t-shirt and a meal ticket. You're also asked to bring one unwrapped toy. Cash donations will be donated to the Yuma Child Burn Survivors, and toys will be donated locally to bring smiles to the less fortunate children in Yuma County. The parade will end at Bobby's Territorial Harley Davidson on Gila Ridge Road. Go on out for a great time. Ride with old friends. Make some new ones and help make the holidays brighter for Yuma children. Fisher Automotive El Toro Bowl is proud to be presenting Arizona Western College versus New Mexico Military Institute. Arizona Western College, the El Toro Foundation, the Matador Athletic Association, and the Caballeros de Yuma are proud to present the 2013 Fisher Automotive El Toro Bowl. Get your tickets now for the game on Saturday, December 7th at the Veterans Memorial Stadium. All reserved seats, $13. Get your tickets at eltorobowl.com or Caballeros de Yuma office. The 2013 Fisher Automotive El Toro Bowl. Major sponsors, Walmart and Sam's Club. Need to order stickers? SignPro can produce custom stickers with your logo or business information. Give them to your customers or label your equipment for a great professional look. That's SignPro, 783-7776 or stop by 1702 South Arizona Avenue. SignPro, where they are perfect to the letter. News with Captain Banner, the SignPro sign, America comes to SignPro. Cocopah Speedway. It's a racing feast this Friday and Saturday nights. The fourth annual Cocopah Speedway Turkey Classic. The best of the West. Battle it out with your local stars. Friday and Saturday nights at Cocopah Speedway. Visit CocopahSpeedway.com for details and online ticketing. 7,000 high school students drop out every school day, stack their desks one atop the other, and it's a pile more than 17,000 feet high. Go to BoostUp.org and learn how you can help. Brought to you by the U.S. Army and the Ad Council. <coughs> Listening to Racing Radio with Cocopa Speedway's Lap Time Live, presented by Cocopa Casino and by One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating here on Outlaw Country AM 1400. Once again, I'm your host, Mike Stanhope, and joining us on the phone this morning from out on the grounds at Cocopa Speedway, it's Director of Operations Greg Burgess, and good morning to you, Greg. A busy morning already out at the Diamond in the Desert. Good morning, Mike. Yeah, it is busy out here. Uh, staff here working hard. Uh, tracks coming into great shape. Expect it to be even better tonight than it was last night. Uh, a lot of racers and fans uh, swinging by. They had breakfast with us here. A little bit of music playing. And i got to tell you, there's only one other spot I'd rather be than in the studio with you. And that's right here. An absolutely gorgeous day, and and hey, that was a uh, great deal to be able to do this morning. The uh, the breakfast for race fans and for the racers, as we all continue to give thanks uh, over this Thanksgiving weekend. And well, we've got lots of great racing to be thankful for from last night, and more to look forward to tonight. Yeah, it, uh, this breakfast is something we've talked about a couple of years, actually, and then. Uh, as you know, you got to build a team and get the right people in the right spots to make everything come together. And uh, Rick Madrid is doing a fantastic job as food and beverage manager. And uh, 
as late as we got out of here last night and then to come back here early this morning, get breakfast going. Uh, he's, he's a fantastic addition to our team. And I'm really happy to have him on board. And it, it was just uh, really fun. And there's still racers stopping in, but it's been fun to be here this morning and hear of course, we love the positive comments. We'll listen to all of them, and uh, but we love the positive comments and just happy, happy fans and racers. You know, everybody's here having a great time, and then uh, everyone. I don't care which division they race in. I think everyone was really excited about the car count last night and that. Uh, uh, you know, shattering that old record of 73 cars and truly making history here uh, for car count. Um, as you know, I'm one that sets the bar pretty high, and I I don't know how y'all do this. This is just uh, unbelievable, and unbelievable the great attitudes and and positive uh, feelings going around here. So I'm looking forward to another night of great racing. Man, we saw some action in every division last night, and uh, I think tonight is going to be uh, at the least as good, if not even a little bit better. Saw some uh, mighty happy faces among uh, many of the out-of-town drivers who were into Cocopa Speedway last night. Drivers who had made the tow into Arizona to uh, run uh, over at Casa Grande last weekend. Of course, they got rained out, but hung here in the state and uh, made the drive on over to Cocopa Speedway. Notably, of course, last night's IMCA modified feature event winner Jason Bolio, who uh, spent the uh, entire week with friends here in the Yuma area, and boy, that trip sure paid off for him. Yeah, I did, and uh, Jason, I know of him uh, a little bit from uh, being in the Northwest. He won the uh, Northwest Modified Nationals at Grays Harbor Raceway in 2010, and has won the Race of Champions uh, as part of that event, I believe, they, probably three or four years straight and has a great reputation as a driver up there and what a super nice guy and his wife really a nice lady and just a, a total pleasure to have in our pits and to visit with uh, that was that was one happy group down at the number 90 trailer last night after the features had concluded. Talking about that record-shattering car count, uh, change in format, of course, this year for the Turkey Classic with all five divisions basically on equal footing for the events. And, and well, you have got to be pleased that, that the car count was so, so high. Yeah, I am very happy with that. And it's hard to tell, I mean... As for motors, you, know, you you just uh, you, you never know. I mean, I think we probably picked up a few cars because of Cafe Grand uh, raining out last weekend. I know some guys have that planned as possibly their last race of the year, and uh, then uh, it, it's just hard to tell. Uh, we've we've got a lot of positive word out about the track here. And so the calls have been steady as, as we've talked over the last couple of weeks is, boy, it sure feels, this event feels like it's going to be something special as those calls come in and I talk to people in the emails and uh, text messages and stuff. I, I just felt something special was going to happen and, and I'm so happy that it did and uh, so happy, uh, for the Kokopa Indian tribe and uh, what they've invested here. And uh, all of the racers, you know, we've got great racers here from uh, Tucson, Casa Grande, uh, Phoenix, uh, all over uh, California. Um, just really good. And then, of course, our local too, that runs so well on our track. Just a great turnout across the board. And so it, it really is cool. And then uh, to, to have another promoter, Chad Eric, who is the promoter at Casa Grand, come here and run our event, just uh, a pleasure to have him here. He's got a great attitude, and I, I think we'll be working real close with 
uh, Chad and his group at Casa Grande in the future. Absolutely spectacular night of racing last night. As you noted, we look forward to more tonight. Uh, and the track in beautiful condition last night as we saw lots and lots of three and four wide racing. Yes, there, there was racing in every division. And I think maybe Adolfo might have been the only one uh, that pulled off the win from the front. And I think majority of the winners... Uh, came from farther back in the pack, and as noted in the modified, I think uh, top two or three came from uh, fifth and sixth rows, so uh, the racing real good there. I don't know uh, if there was a bigger mover than that farther back in the pack, but I know there was a lot of great racing going on there, and uh, all the divisions did a good job. It seems like every night you get a division that probably has a tough time last night the pro stocks had a hard time getting it going but uh once they did we saw great racing with them as well well greg we appreciate you spending the time on the phone with us this morning here on lap time live again know it's a busy day for everybody as we get set for night number two so i'm going to let you get back to it okay i will get back to it and uh i gotta tell you if you have friends or family in the area and some free time you've got to get out here and see this the action is absolutely going to be fantastic tonight and what uh come out and be a part of history here uh with this record number of cars here this is a a, a great event and uh i think it's going to be a, a wonderful evening to be here so uh, thank you, Mike, and we'll look forward to seeing you shortly. Indeed. Back out to the track in just a couple of hours. And again, thank you, Greg, Director of Operations at Cocopa Speedway, for joining us this morning here on Lap Time Live. As Greg noted, a record-shattering car count last night on the pits at Cocopa Speedway, looking to perhaps break that record again tonight with exciting action upcoming in all five divisions that'll be in the running. Again, the IMCA Modifieds, the Fisher Automotive Street Stocks, the Pro Stocks, the Napa Auto Parts Factory Stocks, and the IMC8 Northern Sport Mods, and many, many track champions represented throughout the five divisions, not only from here in the Yuma area, but from the Phoenix area as well. Multiple tracks represented, along with, of course, a number of California drivers, and Bolio, as we noted, who has down all the way from Campbell River, British Columbia in Canada. Gonna be an exciting night. We'll We'll be back with a couple of final comments in just a moment here on Kokopa Speedway's Lap Time Live, presented by Kokopa Casino and by One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating. know you can scan the SignPro QRC codes on their billboards? Well, you can. Scan the QRC codes for discounted graphic specials at SignPro, 1702 South Arizona Avenue, or call 783-7776. No matter what type of air conditioning or heating help you need, schedule some help from One Hour Air Conditioning. Ready for the season? One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating can help. No AC at all? One Hour can help. Need help upgrading your old, inefficient system? One Hour can help. Now's the time to schedule your annual air conditioning safety inspection for just $59. Call One Hour today at 783-4242. Some limitations and exclusions apply. We're always on it's Cocopa Casino's Razor Giveaway, September 29th through November 30th. Come to Cocopa Casino and play your favorite slots, bingo, and table game for your chance to win a 2013 Polaris Razor 800 from Liberty Motorsports. Weekly drawings every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night to spin the wheel for up to $1,000 in cash. Winners are entered in a grand prize drawing November 30th for a 2013 Polaris Razor 800. Come every Tuesday through Saturday and earn three times the grand prize entries during our hot seat drawing. See Players Club for more information. Cocopa Casino's Razor Giveaway. Cocopa Casino. Live the rush. 
The Toyota Black Friday sales event is on. But hurry, because it all ends December 2nd. During this event, get great deals, like 0% APR financing for 60 months on six of your favorite Toyotas. Or choose from amazing cash back offers, like $2,000 cash back on a new 2013 Highlander with available four-wheel drive. With our legendary fuel economy and reputation for reliability, you owe it to yourself to get into a new Toyota. So hurry into the Black Friday sales event and take advantage of these special holiday savings, and you'll be driving off in your own stylish, fuel-efficient Toyota today. But don't wait. These amazing deals end December 2nd. See your Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Toyota. Let's go places. APR approved credit from Toyota Financial Services. Cash back from TMS. Offers may vary by region. See participating dealers for details. Offers end 12 13 Visit Alexander Toyota in Yuma. Or for more information, please log on to toyota.com. Toyota. If you or a loved one suffer the crippling effects of hearing loss, you must hear this. New Era Hearing gives you the revolutionary Oticon Nira Pro, a state-of-the-art hearing device. At astonishing savings, the Oticon Nira Pro, fitted to you and shaped to your individual hearing needs. And drastic savings, 40% off on a premium hearing device that allows you to truly enjoy the loved ones around you this Thanksgiving weekend. Free testing, free fitting, 40% off to the first 20 customers. The Oticon Nira Pro, today is the last day. New Era Hearing in the Yuma Indoor Marketplace. The holiday season is overflowing in Yuba. Visit our local merchants and get great gift ideas. Save yourself gas and time. Get friendly down-home service and great selection right here locally. From groceries to hardware, spa packages to furniture, gift items to appliances, flowers to clothing, automobiles to cell phones, and much more. Shop our local merchants this holiday season. A friendly message from your locally owned hometown station, Outlaw Country, KCYK. And welcome back to Cocoa Speedway's Lap Time Live Racing Radio here on Outlaw Country, AM 1400. A special race day edition of Lap Time Live as we get ready for launch later on this afternoon and this evening, night number two of the fourth annual Cocoa Speedway Turkey Classic. As noted earlier, a record shattering number of cars in the Cocoa Speedway pits. That number could climb even more tonight. That's saying something with 112 cars. 48 of them modified in the pits last night. But, hey, we'll break out the shoehorn if need be. You know, Thanksgiving, traditionally the kickoff to the season of sharing, and we'd like to pass along a note as the racing family is a caring family. And MRT race cars, uh, among them, the 19SB of Lance Mari is hooked up with venue promotions, accepting unwrapped toys for the benefits of the foster kids of Imperial County. And if you're coming out to the racetrack tonight. Hey, bring an unwrapped toy to the yellow MRT race team holler tonight. After the races, you'll receive an autographed photo of MRT modified driver Lance Murray and Jason Knoll, number 44. And hey, you'll also be helping out the foster kids of Imperial County. Just one more way. Racers and the racing community trying to give back. Well, as we get set for tonight's final night of the fourth annual Turkey Classic, we do remind you as well there are lots of other big happenings ongoing around the Cocopa entertainment complex. Anna Corpus in with us this morning to tell more about them. Good morning to you, Anna. I hope everyone is having a great Thanksgiving weekend. Racing fans, if you're heading over to the Speedway for the races this weekend, book the $99 Wild River Resort package, get one night hotel room accommodations for up to four guests at the hotel, and a $30 fun car to use at Wild River. Call 722-6677 to book your package. And Christmas shoppers, while you are at the hotel, swing by the Cocoa gift shop and check out the unique gifts for your loved ones. Find figurine collection such as horse of a different color and willow tree or shop from the $10 wall and right next door to the gift shop is a native eatery which serves fry bread year round called 217-1001 to place an order and the Cocoa Pop Bend RV and Golf Resort's new 19th hole restaurant opens Monday while you're there visit its newly expanded golf shop RV and Golf Resort is located at 6800 Strand Avenue and you can call 343-1663 for tea times. Hope everyone enjoys your Thanksgiving weekend. 
Thank you very much, Anna. We'll look forward to talking with you again next week. And again, information on all of those items and more available through Cocopa.com or CocopaResort.com. Speedway-specific information, of course, available at www.CocopaSpeedway.com. Make sure you also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Online ticketing still available for tonight's second night big, big show indeed of the fourth annual Cocopa Speedway. Speedway Turkey Classic. Hey, shuttle buses will also be running tonight between Cocopa Casino and Cocopa Speedway. An easy way to beat the after-exit rush, just park your car on over at the casino, hop on board the shuttle to get over to the racetrack, enjoy yourself a great evening of racing, and then an easy out via the shuttle. What are we going to see tonight? A record number of cars, exciting race action in all five divisions. It is all set for action tonight out at the Diamond and the deserts as we close out the fourth annual coca Paw Speedway Turkey Classic. Gates open at 5, our race time 7 p.m., and we certainly hope to see you. And we join you as well in giving thanks for all of the blessings that we enjoy throughout the year on this Thanksgiving weekend. You've been listening to coca Paw Speedway's Lap Time Live, presented by coca Paw Casino and by One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating, back with more next Saturday morning, 11 a.m., here on Outlaw Country, AM 1400.